Greetings from Arizona. This is Tony Kuiper using a new voice generated by Amazon Polly. In this video I'm going to review the new features of the TK Actions Rapid Mask 2 module. This module is the beginning of the version 6 TK Actions panel. New V6 modules will be released as they are finished. The Rapid Mask 2 module combines all the features of the intro, Rapid Mask, and Layer Mask modules from version 5, plus it adds many new features. It's also more streamlined and easier to use. The most obvious change from version 5 is the interface. Rapid Mask 2 is more organized and less colorful. However, there is still one color. It's an accent color. It creates a border highlight as the pointer hovers over a button. Click tracking is also new to the Rapid Mask 2 module, and also uses the accent color. Each button click leaves an accent colored shadow on the button that was clicked. Users always know which mask they last used, since it retains an accent colored highlight. There are four distinct sections in the Rapid Mask 2 module. Source Mask Modify and Output They are arranged from top to bottom, which is the normal workflow for creating a mask. The Source section chooses the data source used to calculate the mask. The Composite button, for example, makes standard luminosity masks using pixel luminance. When the Source button or Source menu item is clicked, a corresponding Lights 1 Rapid Mask is calculated and displayed on screen. The Channel menu provides access to the data for component color channels. This is a Lights 1 Mask for the blue channel. The Color menu uses data generated by Photoshop's Color Range command. This is a Lights 1 Mask of Color Range Reds. And finally the Sat menu creates saturation and vibrance masks based on data for pixel saturation. I'll use composite data for this demonstration to generate standard luminosity masks. The mask section is next. It creates entire spectrums of different masks. Lights, darks, midtones, and zone masks can be created. They are all based on the chosen source from the source section. The rapid mask engine powers Photoshop calculations in the background. It creates 16-bit masks at near real-time speeds. Users see new masks almost as fast as they click a new button. The Modify section allows masks to be customized to meet the user's needs. Again, it all happens in real-time so the user can see the changes as they occur. The Output section offers different methods to deploy the masks that are generated. The Layer button makes different types of layers with the Rapid Mask as the Layer Mask. It is one of the most useful ways to use the masks generated by the Rapid Mask 2 module. The top part of the Layer button menu makes adjustment layers. Below this are menu options to create several specialized pixel layers. These layers are commonly used when developing images. To demonstrate, I'll make a burn layer. The current rapid mask is once again automatically applied as a layer mask to the new layer. This ensures that the layer's effect is confined to the areas revealed by the mask. Active selections, channel masks, and apply image actions are also available as output options in the rapid mask 2 module. The Rapid Mask 2 module makes several new masks available. There is now a Lights, 6 and Dark 6 mask included in the spectrum of masks. A standalone Vibrance mask has also been added for selecting unsaturated colors in the image. However, the most exciting new mask is probably a user-created color mask. It is a highly accurate way to make masks based on specific colors. It is accessed by clicking the Create option in the Color Source menu. This generates several new layers on the Layers panel. These layers create a preview of the mask that will be created, along with the new layer group.
There are also new buttons on the Rapid Mask 2 module, and the black and white properties adjustment panel is opened. While any of the layers can be adjusted to customize the mask preview, the black and white adjustment is the most important, since it allows specific colors to be targeted. For example, I can make a blue color mask to emphasize the sky by moving the blue slider to the right. Specific colors in the mask can also be made lighter or darker by using the targeted adjustment tool. It's also possible to paint on the pixel layer in the temporary group to paint out certain pixels in the mask preview. I'm painting with black to conceal parts of the image, but white could also be used to reveal other parts. Curves, levels, and brightness contrast are additional adjustment options available for creating a completely customized mask preview. When satisfied with the mask preview, the Rapid Mask button on the module changes it to an actual Rapid Mask. It can then be modified and output however the user chooses. In this case, I'll use a masked, levels adjustment layer to darken the sky a bit. However, this is only one simple example of what can be accomplished with these new color masks. They are an important new feature of the Rapid Mask 2 module and offer a unique method to make highly targeted Photoshop masks and adjustments. One of the features most requested to be included in TK Actions is the ability to add and subtract luminosity masks. It's now available in Rapid Mask 2 and is super easy to use. First, make a mask. I'll start with the Lights 1 composite. Then click the plus or minus button in the modify section. I'll use minus in this case. And then click another mask button. I'll subtract the lights 3 mask as a way to protect the lightest tones in the image. The second mask has now been subtracted from the first mask to make a new subtracted mask. Any mask in the source or mask sections of the module can be added and subtracted in this manner. Another example. The rocks here have an orange color, which is a combination of red and yellow. One option to create a targeted selection of the rocks is to add together the color source masks for red and yellow. This is now very easy to do with Rapid Mask 2. Red Mask Click the plus button. Yellow Mask and that's all there is to it. Quick and simple. The possibilities are nearly endless. Being able to add and subtract masks, creates a whole new dimension of masking opportunities with the Rapid Mask 2 module. There is still another way to use the Rapid Mask 2 module. Clicking the Layer Mask checkbox changes the Rapid Mask 2 module to Layer Mask mode. In this mode, all the masks are automatically applied as a layer mask on the active layer instead of being displayed on screen. The same source, mask, and modify options for masks are still available. As an example, let's look at another way to darken the sky in this image. I'll start by making a curves adjustment layer to create the desired effect. This has obviously affected the rocks too much, as they are now too dark. Next, I'll add a composite lights 1 mask to demonstrate layer mask mode. In layer mask mode, the calculated mask is applied directly to the active layer as a layer mask. Not surprisingly, this mask is not right for this adjustment. The rocks are lighter, but the sky is no longer dark enough. A mask is needed that better separates the rocks and the sky. Before trying a different mask, I'll turn on the optional 2-up view in order to view the layer mask and the image at the same time. I'll use vertical orientation and size the images the same. Now, I'll use layer mask mode to add a blue channel mask to the adjustment layer. This shows up in my 2-up window, and as a mask on the active layer. This new mask provides better separation between the sky and the rocks. The image looks much better too 
but I can probably still improve the mask with a levels modification. The modification occurs simultaneously in both the mask window and on the layer mask. In the 2-up view, I can even paint on the mask if I want. The image updates in real time as the mask is modified. The result is that this custom mask now creates the effect I was looking for. Quickly changing layer masks makes layer mask mode a great way to experiment with different masks. It provides a unique image based method for always choosing or creating the right one. While this video reviewed the major features of the Rapid Mask 2 module, there is still a lot more to discover. For example, clicking the bottom of the panel opens a new settings dialog where a custom accent color can be chosen. With new ways to generate, modify, combine, and output masks, Rapid Mask 2 was designed to meet and exceed your creative expectations. Whether you're a beginner or expert, you should be able to quickly add luminosity and other masks to your workflow with the module, and discover new ways to use these masks as your skills continue to improve. I hope you'll give it a try, and see where it takes you and your photography.